Think of some of the best art museums in the world, and chances are that the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City and the Louvre in Paris, France come to mind. Yet only a short drive north of Sioux Falls, you'll find the South Dakota Art Museum, which has been named one of the top 25 museums in the country for the past four years. And it takes only a step inside to understand why the exhibits and Art Inside have helped earn that title. I recently got a tour with Carolyn Hart, the museum's marketing and membership coordinator, and Jody Lundgren, the exhibition's curator. I'm so glad to be here, Carolyn Jody. We are sitting in the South Dakota Art Museum right amongst the Harvey Dunn paintings. One thing I think a lot of people don't know is just what a hidden gem this is. We have the most Harvey Dunn paintings right here. This is the biggest collection. And you're one of the top 25 art museums in the United States. Carolyn, tell me a little bit more about some of the, just the national recognition this museum gets. Well, this top 25 uh, rating came from the American Arts Awards, which does an annual survey of art museums. And we've consistently uh, been in their top 25. And they also rate us as the top in South Dakota. It's so amazing to be in here. And right when I walked in, we came through the Afghan war rugs. Jody, talk to me about those, because they're beautiful. Yeah, they are. Um, they're an amazing art form we really didn't know anything about before we uh, saw this prospectus for an exhibition come across our plate. Um, and so Afghan war rugs, they are a traditional rug and carpet that's hand knotted. Um, the Middle East is known for their rugs and carpets, uh, but the war rugs are really unique because they're only made in Afghanistan. Um, and so in the 60s and 70s, there was a big rug renaissance and weavers started to work uh, military armaments, tanks, helicopters, AK-47s into their rugs, basically because they could sell them that way. Um, so when you see them, they've got this really traditional kind of motif and pattern you don't necessarily recognize right away that there are tanks in these rugs. And you also have an exhibit right now, is it One Air, Two? One Roof, Two Airs. One Roof, Two Airs, yeah. okay. And you've got a lot of great sort of correlating pieces, but from a totally different angle. Tell me about that. Um, yeah, One Roof, Two Airs was uh, curated basically to complement the Afghan war rug show. So with the war rugs, we have a really traditional art form that's been adapted for more contemporary purposes. And then One Roof, Two Airs is all contemporary artists who have ties to the conflict in the greater Middle East, but they um, make contemporary works of art. So they speak to that to it in a very different kind of language. And I want to talk a little bit more about this because you also have a reception coming up, an artist reception. You have yes. two of them, and these are going to be things you're going to want to attend. The first one is November 7th. Yes. And is that the one that will have the live dance yes. performance with Layla Awadala? And if you are in Sioux Falls and Kelloland, native to Sioux Falls, so tell me about that. Yeah. Well, um, so that one's going to be really special. John Sherman's going to come and give a little talk, but our um, the big premiere of the evening is that Layla is, she's over in a refugee camp in the Saharan Desert in Algeria. Um, she just got there on October 31st um, and she's scouting it out but she's going to live broad broadcast a dance performance from over there for us here at the museum. And then there'll be another reception after that with another piece of this um, set, right? What is yes. that going to be about? Um, so on November 21st, the other curator, Kat, will come and she'll give a little bit of a talk, but she's mostly introducing um, two other things we have going on that evening. One will be a, a memoir reading from Kais Munhazim, so he'll give a, a reading from his memoirs, and then we'll have um, an interactive performance art piece that the audience will be pulled into. Um, so two, oh. two of the artists who have artworks as objects in the show, they do performance art as well. So we're sitting in the Harvey Dunn area right now. I want to hear a little bit more about your Harvey Dunn collection, and I think you're coming up on a big anniversary that you'll have even more Harvey Dunn work out. Yeah, the Harvey Dunn is really the founding collection for the museum. Um, I tell people that really this is why the South Dakota Art Museum is in Brookings, because Harvey Dunn gave uh, 40 paintings to the state of South Dakota back in 1950, and those were here at the university before this museum was built in 1970. Um, so those 40 paintings, now we're at 150 paintings of, of Harvey paintings and works on paper and drawings, um, but we own 100 
150 artworks by Harvey Dunn now. We're excited to have them here, and next year for our um, 50th anniversary, uh, we will show all of the Harvey Dunn paintings we own again, so that'll be a big thing coming up at the latter half of 2000. 20. Oh, I'm excited about that. Tell me about some of your other exhibits that you have going on, too. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, the themes that we've kind of started with the Middle East and these kind of uh, difficult subject matter with living with ongoing conflict, um, we've curated a few other shows that tie into it. So right now, if you come to the museum between now and Thanksgiving, you're going to see all six exhibits pretty much tie to each other. Um, so this Harvey Dunn Imagining Others show. Um, so another show that we have up is Paul um, into the Great Unknown, Paul, Go Paul Goebel's illustrations. He's a children's books il illustrator, and we own almost all of his illustrations for his books. And then there are a couple other great exhibitions, too. We have, um, I, I, I kind of like to do big new things, so we've got three. And there is a big new big thing new out thing. there. I saw it. <laughs> yeah, we have three inflatable white life-sized elephants in one of our galleries. I want to talk to you a little bit, Carolyn, about the gift shop, too, because you have amazing things that you can pick up here, and even if you're not going to spend a lot of time with the art, you can do a little shopping. That's right. The gift shop is a gem as well. It, it's filled with artwork, original artwork from regional artists um, of all variety, pottery, jewelry, glassware, paintings. Um, as well as just fun things for your home. We, we're getting ready for the holidays, so we've got lots of holiday uh, with the flair uh, yes. items for sale. And then um, two things that I really wanted to let uh, viewers know about, we have the most awesome collection of beads for sale. And, and we also have an amazing bookstore that is just filled with fascinating books about generally regional history, uh, regional art, and uh, you know, fascinating subjects that every time I go in, I think I need one more day to read one more book. <laughs> That's how I feel about just being in here. I need one more day to look at all of this art. Well, thank you ladies so much for letting me come up and look at all this amazing art. It's, it's definitely worth seeing. Come up here, and if you've never been in this museum, you need to come see all the amazing things, and the art changes frequently, so you gotta come back a lot. It mm -hmm. does. Thanks thank for you. coming up. Thanks. The South Dakota Art Museum is located on the SDSU campus at 1036 Madari Avenue in Brookings. You can reach them by phone at 605-688-5423 or online at SouthDakotaArtMuseum.com. You'll find a complete list of hours and exhibits online. And don't miss the museum store's holiday sale, November 14th through the 16th, featuring unique gifts and original artwork from regional artists. Museum members get 20% off their purchases through December. And we've got a special offer for our Kelloland Living viewers. The first 15 people to visit the museum and mention Kelloland Living will receive a free first-time family museum membership for first-time members. That's a $45 value. Or you can choose to receive a free copy of Paul Reed's book, Harvey Dunn, Illustrator and Painter of the Pioneer West. That's a $50 value.